Morning and welcome to the Small Business Cheerleader Podcast. I'm Nicola from NW Marketing and I'm joined today by Tracy Fryer of Design Studio Perth. Um, she's a graphic designer and brand strategist and we're going to talk today about all things branding for small business. How are you today? Hi Nicola, how are you going? Hey, good, good. I'm so glad to have you on because we're going to talk and we're going to get deep on branding. Yeah. How it works for small business, mm -hmm. brand guidelines, and how people can most importantly make money from their branding. So introduce yourself to the listeners and tell us all about your history in branding. Perfect. Will do. Great. Thank you so much for the opportunity, Nicola. Uh, so I'm Tracy from Design Studio Perth. We help our clients create a cohesive brand across the various marketing platforms for web, print, and social media. That's awesome because I think it's important that people realize that branding is actually so important. Mm -hmm. It's not just a logo. It's not just something that gets pushed to the side that you do when you have some money. Yes. You need to get this done when you start because the longer you leave it, the more you have to play catch up in the end. Mm -hmm. um, and what do you find um, from working with small businesses along the way? What have you found has been the main issues that they've dealt with coming to have a brand for their business? Yes, I think as you just mentioned, Nicola, a lot of people uh, have the misconception that a brand is just a logo. So what most people will do is create their logo either, you know, on Canva or they'll try and do it themselves. And then what I find happen because, happens is because they haven't got an established brand, it's very hard for them to create that cohesive brand um, moving forward. Uh, so, yeah, what I find is that we have to then, you know, we actually try to do like a complete rebrand, redesigning the logo, creating those colors, those fonts, and then working with their marketing plan, um, which has established their ideal target audience and their brand vision and message as well. Yeah, it's amazing. So, so where do they start? So if I'm a small business and I've just either started or I'm looking to, to jazz it up, I'm looking to actually have something that cuts through, where do I start with creating a brand? Yeah, perfect. So as I mentioned, most people seem to think that a logo is your starting point. But I think if you rewind completely, I believe that the first place that you need to start is with your marketing plan. So this might even be before you have your business name, because it is pretty hard coming up with a business name sometimes as well. So someone in marketing like yourself would sit down with you to figure out your, um, your business name, what your marketing um, strategy is, so your visual communication, the messages that you want to have with your branding. And then that would then come over to, to us where we do the visual aesthetic side of things. So that way your marketing plan and your branding plan are aligned with each other and it'll just give you a stronger, stronger, stronger presence online, both online and offline as well. Yeah, that's exactly right. And I know that people get confused because they think marketing and branding is the same thing. Yes, Whereas, I'm across uh, that. Yeah, as we know, marketing is your strategy, getting everything in place and yeah. branding is the reason people stay around. So it's that thing of, you know, what you stand for in your aesthetics that come across your brand. And we've talked about this before when people have a logo that they love but doesn't really represent what the business is about and how that can yeah. actually put your prospective clients off. Have you seen that before? Yes, 100%. So again, that's why that marketing plan is so important because then we can design your logo with your ideal target audience um, in mind. And that way it, it aligns more with your target audience, um, you know, that that audience that has been set out, uh, that has been outlined, sorry, in your marketing plan. Yeah, because I find that people, uh, they love a colour or they love um, a font. Um, but if your audience, it's not something that resonates with them, you're going to be spending a lot of money on something that is not going to be doing the work for you. Because your branding is, is what is going to keep people around because of that reason that it actually, they can identify with it. You know, yeah. things like Apple, um, you know, are that um, the staple that most people come back to in their branding of of how they perceive themselves out in their advertising with their marketing from their branding because it talks to a specific ideal target market and people forget that it's not just some pretty thing you put on your website no. it has to actually follow through so yes. What are brand guidelines? Because we hear this all the time and people are told they should have brand guidelines, they should have things set up. But for small business owners that are mm. new to the world, they don't know what that is. So how? what is it firstly and how should they use them in their business? Of course. So your brand guidelines are set... Um, 
it's a set style and rules associated with your brand that's been designed specifically for your brand. So what will happen is something I wanted to mention as well is that I think a lot of business owners design their logo and their brand in, you know, to their liking, but it's not about us. It's about our ideal, our ideal audience. And that's who you want to have in mind when you're creating your branding. So your brand guidelines will be uh, formulated around your, your brand vision and your mission, as well as your logo. It's a clearly defined, sorry, defined set of colors, fonts, uh, photography uh, style, perhaps even your social media or your email marketing might go in there as well. So that way, anyway, who's, anyone who's working with your brand will know exactly what, what's font style, what color, what um, photography style goes with your brand. So that way, no matter what marketing platform you're working on, there'll be a cohesive brand. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. And that's why brand photography does play a big part in that as well mm -hmm. and has really come to the fore. I think in the last couple of years, I've noticed that uh, you can really tell um, or have a feeling about a brand from their photography. And a lot of the visionaries, the owners of the business are having to come from behind the scenes yes. to the forefront because we're yeah. all about authenticity now yes. we need to see who it is we're dealing with and to make that instant decision of whether we can resonate with them or not and so branding okay. now is more than even just your logo and your colors yeah. it's about <laughs> getting you out there and uh, I think people yeah. forget that don't they they think that it's okay. something that they can hide behind but are you finding that that's happening a lot more with our clients you're seeing as well they're having to come yeah. get out of their comfort zone Definitely, myself included. I mean, you know, we think we can hide behind our logo and our brand colors and, you know, our portfolio work uh, for so long, but you actually have to come out from behind a logo and uh, really let people, you know, get to know who you are and be truly authentic and, you know, um, show that point of difference and what makes you you. Yeah, because people these days, there are a lot of similar businesses in every industry as we know right. and, and even more so now with the online capabilities to everyone having yeah. the the possibility to have an online business mm. and how do you stand out and that is the work that we do obviously at NW Marketing and getting your vision mission core values getting you set up in having that point of difference and then giving that document to a professional like yourself in the branding field because they can take that information and make that visual and I think that that's so important that people realize they go together and yes. once you have both you basically have a business structure set up that your content is ready to go without any um, overwhelm or, or not knowing what you're going to put out there because it is done for you you even create templates for people that they can use oh. on their socials that they don't have to do themselves yes yeah so it saves so much time and money I think if there's one you know if there's one big investment that you are going to make definitely work with a professional for your logo and your style guide and if you do decide to outsource your graphic design from there at least you have your brand style guide that's been professionally designed for you by someone who's local who understands the you know the Australian culture and the Australian market as well and you can then give your brand style guide you know to someone who may be overseas and that way they can then implement those brand guidelines into your you know the collateral that they might be designing for you. Yeah, exactly. And I tell my clients if they're looking to get a VA to do their social media management, who may be um, obviously not that aware of uh, brand design, but mm -hmm. can take those um, those things that you've created and spent the money putting together yeah. uh, on a professional sense, can use that in things like Canva and a lot of things that small business owners use to create their socials. But it, it allows that cohesiveness across all of your um, mm -hmm. your platforms. But it does save you money in relation to having to consistently redo the wheel yes. you've spent the work you've done it it's done it is now ready to be utilized and brand colors can be put into canva and things like that but you need to do the professional work to begin with i can't recommend that high enough for small business owners instead of starting in a canva trying to do a logo or trying to do your brand colors because another thing people don't realize that we've spoken about um, with many small businesses is you don't own the Canva logo that you oh, create yeah. and that is a huge thing that people are not aware of yes 100 and another thing with Canva as well you can't actually get your print ready file from Canva so your print ready file is a vector file um, that is essentially your logo in shapes so you can make it six meters you know big or you can make it you know 30 mil big and it will still it'll retain its shape and it won't pixelate so if you design your logo in canva you don't actually have access to that file because the program itself can't output the file format that you need so if you do you know download the logo from canva the likelihood is that it will pixelate if you do go to print it 
Yeah. And then again, you're wasting time because it is going to have to be redone and somebody yeah. like yourself is going to have to recreate that logo so that if you need it on a, say, a pylon sign, if you need it on a shop front um, when it's big or you need to put it in print and you want to have a certain um, version of that f file to um, in print version is different yes. to social media and um, people don't realize that as well there's so yes. much which is why investing in a graphic designer and a brand strategist at the beginning of your journey or if you're looking to rebrand and level up are the yes. two times I would recommend um, you spend the money and you deal with someone local who can actually uh, guide you in that sense to make sure you get the better the, the best outcome any tips that you would give from dealing with small businesses who have come to you at the beginning what would you recommend they have ready when they come to you oh wow it depends on what stage of the journey they're at but if you are at the very very beginning um i think it's best to do some research for some inspiration of brands that you love again if you have your marketing plan and you have got that ideal audience in mind we have to create a brand that sort of sits well with them um, but i'd also recommend and i think like you said nicola you know working with a professional making that initial upfront investment um, to get your entire logo file suite so as you mentioned as well there's different file formats for a digital platform for printing your pantone colors so you can save yourself so much time and money um, by having your logo and your brand style guide set up properly uh, and i mean that not many people are aware that you're like say for example if you have a brand blue that color has about four different codes you know depending on if you're printing it or if you're going to be using it on canva or on your website so your brand style guide will actually break that down for you um, and I think people forget, and I've seen it from doing old school press advertising yeah. many, many years ago, um, yeah. is it shows up different in press. Uh, yes. So you can be a get a rude shock when you see your press ad appearing um, um, yeah. and you haven't done that work. So people need to realise it's true and the work done. And another one I love to inform people of that they forget sometimes, it's so important, is the reverse version of your logo. Yes. Because you don't know where it's going. And if you don't have a reversed out logo that you can use on multiple platforms, especially yeah. if you're doing uh, things like aprons, if you're a restaurant and you want your logo or you want it somewhere else, you've mm. got to think about ahead, think ahead and how may you be using that logo going forward and um, all the different options. I know myself, my graphic designer, when we did ours years ago, I have a folder that has multitudes yeah. in there. <laughs> Some I've never heard of. Yeah. And, um, but it's just in case I ever need it. And that folder sits there with all my brand style guide, like you said, my fonts, yes. my colors, um, everything I need, I need. But it was the best investment I ever made. I use it every day. And if I've, I've had to do banners, I've had to do things. And I know that I've got every folder there, bang. And I've dealt with people before that only, I think I spoke to you about this before, only had a PDF for their logo. Yes. And you have to rename the whole thing. So if you, you know, that's because they now, they had a sign done, you know, if they started a, um, a retail store, they got a sign done and, and, and obviously a designer did it, but they didn't ask for the folders all done up. So all they had was a PDF that they could now no longer use. Yeah. So I think that's important, but the most important thing, how yeah. does branding help you make money, Tracy? Tell us because every small business owner is going yeah. to spend this money investing in their brand. How is it going to make the money? How are they going to get the return on this investment for them? Yeah, definitely. So branding, branding helps you make money by, you know, you have to constantly show up. You have to be consistent like anything in life. So by your audience in a consistent brand, whether it's on, you know, Instagram or Facebook or whether you're networking in person, like every single aspect of what you do. And it's not just, you know, the digital side of things, as I mentioned, you know, what you might wear or how you might carry yourself is all part of your brand. So people perceive you, you know, and your brand um, across all those different, different platforms. So it's so important to have a cohesive brand that aligns with your ideal audience. And that way they'll feel more connected with you. They'll get to know, like, and trust you and which would essentially result in more sales. Yeah, and it's that thing, isn't it? If you have a high lux brand, yes. obviously your logo has to reflect that. If you're more family friendly, or if you know, that's why things you put on your logo have to talk to your client, not to you. Yeah. And it has to have, you know, are you, um, you know, sharp and crisp and very clear and clean in your lines, or are you more open and friendly and um, different vibes? And those things will come across in everything you do, even those templates you put on social media. Uh, will need to have that same look. And I think that's where a brand strategist is 
the most important um, investment you can make when building a business, as opposed to your marketing specialist, yeah. obviously, <laughs> who will give you that information to take to your brand specialist. Yeah. Those two <laughs> together. <So aligned. laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. Now, is there any final tips that you can think for small businesses, any part of the journey that from working with them you found mm. that would, would help out um, people listening today? Yeah, apart from what I've already mentioned, I definitely think, you know, Canvas is just a strong uh, platform, you know, and, and I understand as a business owner, you know, sometimes you feel like we're bleeding money. So of all the things, make use of your Canva brand kit, you know, um, you can either have your graphic designer set it up for you, like you'll have all your fonts, your colors, your logos, but at least that way, if that's all set up, if you are creating content and your visuals yourself, if you don't have the templates, you can at least create things that have all your brand colors, your fonts and your logos as well. Um, um, and I think another important thing to mention is to not be cliched. I think there's a lot of pink around at the moment and people seem to think because they've got a, a feminine uh, audience that they have to go with pink or I had someone tell me the other day that they need to stand out the most. So they need to be bright yellow, but there's so many different ways that we can stand out, you know, from a, a visual uh, brand photography, uh, you know, the, the messages that we convey in both verbally and non-verbally, it's not just about being the brightest or being cliched as to everything that's happening. So I think, yeah, to truly just be in your, own authenticity and do you know what feels right with you and your audience is so important yeah I love that because we can get carried away with the scroll and think that we need to to be whoever else is in our target market and is performing well we need to be that and I think that the only way you can truly stand out is by being authentic to you which I know is hard when you're starting out a business but if you can sometimes stop the scroll and just really get dive deep into why you do what you do and how you reflect that in your visuals um i think that'll be much better in the long run you won't get bored of what it looks like or or just become one of the the multiple you're right i think there is a lot of um that around at the moment Mm -hmm. and i think that that is just overwhelm and and people jumping into canva and and finding what they can find and just hoping to uh, become one of the many and I think the more you see those um, visuals standing out of brand photography as part of that overall thing mm. that was a, a great change and shift and now video of course being the next shift mm. um, in how to show up with your brand and I think that that again can only come from doing the work in everything else um, to then know how you should show up when you yeah, all up. up totally yeah, yeah all work yeah. together because uh, people forget that it is um, a multi-layered and that's where the overwhelm comes in. So the more clarity you have in those steps, more likely you are to be able to show up uh, without that overwhelm or be scared of showing up, not knowing how you should be showing up. And I think that's where a lot of people, like all of us, uh, when we have a camera in our face, get a little bit overwhelmed on what should I be saying? Is it, is it in line with my brand? Am I being too woke? Am I being not woke enough? Is my, what is my idea? your client want uh yeah so when you have a document and you have um the brand guide to you know to follow that on it it just gives you clarity that is unlike anything else i can't recommend it enough yeah Um, yeah and a professional is the way is the way to get that yeah so i want people to get brand strategized so how can they (laughs) find you how can they find out more um are there um you know freebies you've got is there ways for you to get um in touch how can they get in touch with you and find out how to get this ball rolling yeah, perfect. So the best way is probably through Instagram or our website. Uh, we do currently have a, um, we've got nine Canva templates, a free download that automatically goes into your Canva account. You can change the colors and the fonts to suit your style and then create content from there. Uh, we do have an offer a free um, design strategy call for 30 minutes. So you can either find that link on our website or otherwise through our Instagram in our bio as well. Oh, well, then there's no excuse. Look at that. You've got your yeah. free Canva templates <laughs> already <laughs> and you can have a free strategy session to get your head clear. I mean, that you couldn't get any. You know, there is done. no excuse. <laughs> This is the small business that yelling at people. There is no excuse. Don't tell me you can't get your brand together because there is ways you're just not getting over your fear (laughs) of what you can do so if you don't know how to use canva there's many tutorials online and canva themselves have tutorials it is very easy to use and as you said downloads from yourself you can go straight into your canva files and then you can access them it's easy as but do the work first so you know what it is you're creating before you start getting lost in the rabbit hole that is canva 
Yeah. Um, well, it's been amazing to talk to you. Um, I This is a topic close to my heart because it does work so closely together with the marketing strategy. So I'm glad there's people like yourself out there who are supportive of small business and want to make sure that they get the best from their money spent on branding and don't go down a rabbit hole of overwhelm. Yes, completely. So Thank you. Please, please, people, go and see um, Tracy online, Instagram or the website for Design Studio Perth and she will sort you out. It has been amazing talking this morning and um, can't wait to talk again soon. Likewise. Thank you so much, Nicola. I appreciate it. See you. Bye. See you. Bye.